Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading. Happy Wednesday. Today is February, Wednesday, 23rd, and hope everybody's doing great. Uh, we've got a, you know, we had President's Day on Monday, so a shortened week this week as far as trading goes. And it has not been a stellar week so far. Well, I guess it depends on which side of the market you're on. Uh, but a uh, very messy day today. Let me take the ticks off of here. And we'll focus with the, uh, we'll start with the ES and then we'll kind of go from there. But, um, you know, I was looking at this. Well, we'll look at the, we'll look at the ES for today. <clears throat> Again, today's Wednesday. So the dark or the black area is um, today's session. The light gray is the overnight session. So last night we were chopping, chopping, chopping. Didn't know what to expect. Um, keep thinking we might get some kind of bounce here but eh, you know we'll talk about that in a minute came out of the gate now we're at 4332 right there and this is es and we just immediately at, at this point we were up um from the prior close we were up 35 points i believe and um so then we start you know just falling 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 as we're coming down uh, here and we hit this skyline level support and we bounce and I'm looking at this and we're trying to figure out trades and I'm uh, in my bias service I'm trying to you know figure out what to do you know what we don't have we've got one trade on and I'm like we we're being light um, by design I don't want to be to you know have too much exposure in this market so I'm trying to figure out trade thinking well maybe this thing will bounce and then we hit the um, micro line there that's a voodoo line immediately failed um, typically on here you would bounce and we took that out and we came back up and we chopped around and then we just fell into the rest of the day so we're down what 116 something like that um, from the high today I mean that's a that's kind of what's been happening lately um, and if you've been trading for a while you know this is kind of uh, kind of crazy because you know we used to before I mean maybe several years back two three years back something like that but uh, but the move on the week would be 35 points, maybe 40 points, something like that. And now we're moving 100 in a day, uh, pretty much every day. I mean, 50, 60, 80, 100 points is not a big move at all. Um, so let's take this thing and go back. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Five days. So this was, I was talking about this a minute ago. This is, let me zoom in a little bit here. Um, <clears throat> yesterday's trade right here the black area it's funny the night sessions are look a lot longer during the day than the day sessions but um flush down spike up big flush down oh we're gonna crash and big rip higher oh we're gonna go back up here no we're not big flush down and you know from here let's just come out from here the close um uh, to the overnight session here's the overnight session uh to the open i think we were up 35 points and then just never you know Never looked back, and we went out on the lower day. Not a good sign. <clears throat> so let's take this out here to a 20-day chart, just to give us an idea. I talked about this in last week's video that you see these levels. <clears throat> um, the white lines are snow lines. We're kind of in the snow lines right here. Uh, here we were below the snow lines, and here we've broken back below the snow lines and look to be going lower. Uh, so let's go out here on a longer-term time frame, and I'll kind of put everything in perspective. Uh, if you notice the levels I have been watching, and we talked about this in the last several weeks of videos, uh, maybe even month or two, uh, I, I was I have been talking about these levels right here. You see that skyline right there? I said if we take this out, which we did today, um, that next level's there. That red fire line at 4100 now that's es it's on the spx that's 4083 and of course as the s p goes and the es goes and the spy goes the rest of the market follows right so <clears throat> today i put on a hedge um I, I hated to you know put on a hedge down here because we could get one of these big rip hires we get them all the time you know, so don't rule that out, you know, here, here. Um, we could get one anytime. Um, we're, we're in a news-driven market, and, of course, it's all about Russia now and inflation and all of the things going on, you know. So um, 
you know, I hate to put on a hedge, but we need one. And uh, I thought if it's a good opportunity. We went out a couple of weeks, and I'm targeting this level right here. And, um, you know, again, we could bounce up here and then fail and bounce and fail and bounce and fail. And we're just trending, you know, trending down. Um, so keep that in mind if you want to short this market. I would not go too heavy. Um, we're You're late in the game to do any kind of... Um, large size shorting, but from an opportunistic standpoint, you know, you could put a butterfly down there. You could do a diagonal, you could do a calendar. Um, one of those things, you could even come down to some of these other lower levels and uh, and probably get a lot of bang for your buck. And that's all I'm trying to do is get a little bang for the buck out of this. And um, I think it makes sense. So we've got the same situation here. This is, that's the, again, this is the ES. We've got the same situation in the NASDAQ here um you know we just keep taking out all these levels no bounce in sight anywhere um so any bounce at this point is probably going to be shorted and i will be the one shorting it too um within reason but remember in these kind of markets is when you can get some really really crazy rip higher markets because of short covering and we get a hint of good news you know Ru russia pulls troops out or agrees to uh you know play nice or whatever and you know we go ripping higher so don't that's what i was saying don't get too short here um do it selectively and do it strategically and try to get as much bang for the buck as you can risking as little as you can you know to make as much as you can on the on on a move and um and if you want to see how to do that uh come in the trading room with me or the bias room my my bias room we do that all the time and or the main room or i'm actually got a uh, i'm actually going to record a video on hedging and all that kind of stuff it probably probably be out in the next several days but anyway um pretty straightforward stuff uh how to get a lot more bang for the buck out of your um trades and protection on the downside too so that's what we're that's what we're going for so all that being said try to limit your risk if you have long positions um i don't know that i would bail and everything i've been trying to tell people for months now to lighten up on you if you got profit go ahead and take it raise some cash that kind of thing it's kind of late in the game to be doing that now i might just sit through it and wait um don't know how much you know how much lower we go or how long it lasts or all that kind of stuff but um we're we sold off a pretty pretty large amount now so it would make sense that we get some kind of bounce even if that bounce is shorted later so anyway um, be careful out there limit your risk use stops um, to you know to, to limit your losses um, and with that let me wind it up and again join us in the main room at simpler trading uh, join me in the bias room show you how to do this stuff um, you know, it's uh, we can still make money on the downside. We make more money on the downside, actually, uh, if you're on the right side, obviously. But um, you can we trade it both ways. We trade it long and short. So with that, let me wind it up. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and we will look for you in the trading rooms. Thanks. Take care. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 